Hello everyone and thank you for joining me at The Lonely Vine. Um, you know, a little bit kind of nervous and excited about uh, the wine I'm tasting today. Um, so, you know, generally when I taste wines uh, for the show, they're wines that I have not had before. Uh, so when you're seeing me taste them, you're seeing me taste them for the first time. You know, and people have commented that they like that. Uh, they, they like kind of watching me discover the wine live, if you will. Uh, with this one, I've had the wine I'm going to taste a couple of times. And uh, the wine I'm tasting tonight is from Alice Ranch Winery. So that's here in Colorado. And it is their 2009 Reserve Syrah. Uh, so um, this winery is basically the closest one I can find to my house. Uh, it's within an hour away. Um, it is uh, in Salida, Colorado, and it, it uh, sources its grapes uh, from the western slope where, you know, the grapes come from, the wine grapes come from uh, in Colorado. Um, I went up for a tour of the winery, uh, and that was the first time I had the, the 09 Reserve Syrah. That was pre-release, and then just a few weeks ago I went to the release party and had a chance to taste it there as well. Both times I really, really enjoyed the wine and was really excited to get my hands on it. But you know, those were always in group scenarios, um, you know, so there's a lot of noise going on, a lot, uh, a lot of talking, really focus on, on the wine, talking to the winemaker at the time. Uh, so, you know, this will be the first time I've tasted it in, uh, you know, in uh, what I would call a normal environment for myself. And uh, so hopefully it'll come through um, as well as, as it did when, when I was tasting it uh, at the winery. Uh, so I'm going to get right into it. Uh, like I said, this is Reserve, or uh, this is Syrah. Um, I think it does have like 5% Viognier in it um, as well. Uh, so let's go. So it is Syrah. So not that you can see it, but it's got a real nice uh, kind of purple to color to it. And this one, by the way, this one is a drink at home kind of wine. This one rolls in at a monster 15.6% by volume alcohol. So uh, this one's not playing around, um, but it has a real, uh, real nice purple kind of color to it. Uh, you know, really coming through with that garnet. Um, you know, there is a, you know, a good amount of stating, you know, so I did see, see some time in, in uh, on the, on the skins. Um, additionally, it had 24 months of oak and it was a 50-50 French American and they were one year old, I think. When they were bottled, or when they, when the wine went in. All right, so let's get my nose into this wine and see what's going on. So, you know, it is pretty fruit forward. Uh, there's some good. Uh, there's some blackberry. There's some blueberry coming through. There's a little bit of coffee coming in. You know, lots of, of the dark fruits. There's no red fruit in this one at all. You know, you can get a little bit of that raisin. You know, when I talk about it a lot, I don't know what it is wired in my brain, but I get a little bit of that meaty kind of uh, component coming through as well. You know, and I, I would, I would send, I would, at seeing 15.6, I would think I would pick up uh, some of those alcohol notes on the nose, and I'm really not. Yeah, okay, so let's move on to the palate. Okay, so those dark fruits are really coming through. I'm really getting that blackberry, I'm really getting that blueberry coming in. 
but it's not jammy. You know, it is definitely fruit forward. You know, and on the finish, there's there's a little bit of smoke. There's a little bit of a, you know, there's a nice transition here from fruit um, to the finish. There's a smokiness kind of going on. Um, I really, uh, I want to do another check on the alcohol. I'm really, I'm, you know, this really holds the alcohol well. Um, you know, there's some nice tannin structure to it, and there's a, there's a there's a little bit of a tartness to it that that's that's kind of interesting that I kind of like. Um, you know, is this a wine that that uh, that's gonna change your mind about wine in general? You know, definitely not. But is this a solid, solid? delicious wine it definitely is this is um yeah you know it's got some really interesting characteristics it's got some real traditional Syrah components coming through as well um you know, so this is a, if you have not had a Colorado wine and you're looking to go dive into, you know, the other 47 or 46, depending on where you classify uh, New York wines, um, this would be one, uh, if you want to try Colorado wine, I would suggest giving this one a try. I'll put their website up as a link. Uh, this, this wine does roll in at about 24 bones. Um, but you know, if I'm gonna put a score to this one, you know, I'm putting this in that, you know, 89 upper 89 kind of a uh, kind of score, um, you know. So that's a, uh, and I'm really trying not to be all Homer about it, you know, being that it's one that's close to me. I'm trying to be objective about it. I think I am. Um, Yeah, you know, and I'm I'm having steak for dinner tonight. I think this is going to go well with it. So um, I guess that's it. You know, I wanted to keep it short. Um, I hope that you. Uh, I hope that if you get a chance to try this wine, I hope you'll try it because I think I think it's worth it to to experience. You know, this is a good other forty seven state wine to try. Uh, so a question for the show, being that we're talking about. Uh, you know, other other than the big four, or big three wines, what are some of the states that you have tried wine from outside of, uh, you know, California, Washington State, uh, Oregon, and New York? And uh, what did you think of them? And uh, that'll do it for the question. So until next time, everybody, cheers.